All right, guys, so I'm headed to Camp Mirror uh, by myself. I'm testing some gear. Again, I'm shooting in with the GoPro 8. Um, I've got the Blue Ice Warthog 45 liter pack with me. So doing a comparison between two Rab down jackets, so I'm carrying more layers than necessary, but at least I won't be getting cold. I have the Rab Infinity Endurance with me, which has always been my go-to parka that I've been using in the lower 48. I'm also using the Rab Valiance, so I'm gonna be switching back and forth between those today. Uh, the Valiance is a little heavier, so the, the other thing about the Valiance is it's waterproof. I just left the parking lot by the way and it's 518. Definitely getting a late start. Alright guys, I know your view is not gonna be as good as mine, but I'm up here at Panorama Point and I've got views of Adams Hood, Helens. Absolutely amazing. Today is gonna be a wonderful day on the mountain. And all in solitude. I'm the only one on the mountain. I'm gonna take my first break here real quick. I've got about 45 minutes before the sun crests the road. So I'd like to be at the snowfield at that point. I'm gonna be pulling out the Rab Valiance Parka first. Are you kidding me? At least their steps kicked in. It is a little slick here. It would be less than fortunate if I fell. If I was down there, I'd be less well off than I am right now. So my plan is to get up this without slipping. Looks like I will be able to accomplish that goal. <clears throat> There is the beast. All right guys, it's time for break number two. I've been going for a little over two hours now. I hit the snow field about 15 minutes ago. So the good is that I accomplished the goal of hitting the snowfield before the sun crested the horizon. The bad is that it's about to get really warm. So for this break, I'll be using the Rav Infinity Endurance. We'll see how that one goes. I think it's time for sunscreen and glacier glasses. All right, I am 0.8 miles away from Camp Mirror, and I believe that that hump right there is the last one 
before being able to see it. So 8.20 now, the GPS still says my ETA is 9.15, so I'm not losing any ground. That's good. Uh, it's great out here. It's not too hot yet. All right, I can barely see the top of the buildings at Mir. So I can see the ending to the never ending snowfield. Uh, I've always been curious how far Mir was once you could actually see it. So I just checked. It's exactly 0.6 miles. Cool to see it um, this time of the year. <laughs> Typically these crevasses on the cowlets aren't visible this close here to camp. Oh. I don't know if uh, this is showing up on the GoPro. Hopefully it is. <laughs> I did want to show my my family this. Uh, so this is where we sleep. I always try to go for a bottom bunk here, personally, and over in the corner so I'm far from the door because everybody's in and out going to the bathroom and stuff. So I try to stay as far away from the door as possible. Usually try to get this corner back here. Um, very minimal, but very purposeful. It works well. There is the you know, emergency radio here, uh, just in case. And nobody up here. All right, Camp Mirror, it's been real. Oh, the hip belt just loosened up on the pack again. So it's twice today. One's going up and one's going down. have succumbed to the need of the crampon. Battle the ice field, back to the car, and then a coffee. I wanted to real quick touch on the two down jackets I brought with me. The Rab Infinity Endurance and the Rab Valiance. So my opinion after using both, both 
very, very good jackets, both jackets that you could not go wrong with. Um, the difference would be, like I mentioned, the Rab Valiant has a Pertex shield outer layer, so it's waterproof, whereas the Rab um, Infinity Endurance does not. I think that the Infinity Endurance is the better jacket for most of my climbing. I would consider them equally warm. However, the Infinity is slightly more puffy, so it might insulate a little better. I'm not sure. Uh, now, the, the other thing to take note of is the weight. Uh, the Infinity is quite a bit lighter, and so that's another reason why I would choose the Infinity. If you can buy both, buy both, because if you're gonna be climbing in harsh conditions, then you may want the added feature of having a waterproof parka. Also, a little bit more durable. The fabric on the outside, that, that shell outer fabric is a little bit more durable. So I think it will stand up to the test of time a little bit better. Uh, now the Infinity Endurance is an older model. Rab has now released a new version of the Infinity and it is waterproof. It does have Gore-Tex instead of Pertex. The Infinity that I have is older. Um, it's been a part of my kit for some time now, and uh, you can find them relatively uh, and affordable. So I got mine for um, $80 shipped to my house, and it's definitely as good as some 500 plus parkas on the market now. It's just not that expensive because it's older. So you won't be able to buy it brand new. However, there are a lot of them popping up on eBay and other used sites. day in the mountains uh, I felt pretty good with my performance until I was about a mile from the vehicle and then my legs started to get kind of shaky that's not a good sign that means I definitely lost a step so I guess I need to get back on the mountain and get back on the training